what's going on guys we're back at it with another one we're with a few subscribers and we're out fishing here for some peacock bass we got some shiners in and we're gonna see if we can get some on keep on reeling there we go seems like a decent fish oh he popped the hook that's okay we'll get another shiner on and we'll get him right back out there that was that was a snook i saw him and then he was like just... was it a peacock it looked like a peacock it, ha it had a really broad mouth that was a good one we got our first peacock bass here check this out very nice you got him very nice bud you want a picture there you go That's beautiful, beautiful isn't one, it Vincent. that's great we're just gonna let this beautiful peacock go first one landed awesome nice, buddy. very nice good job bud hey way to go nice <laughs> we got another peacock bass over here very nice that's number two what do you think a little bit bigger than the last one very nice man want to hold your fish yeah. all right Got him, just watch the spines up top. All right, very hey. cool. Second peacock bass of the day. Mom's gonna get a picture of you. We gotta find his mama. They're hard to hold on to, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> All right, send him back home. Let's get his mom. Very nice. There you go. On my rod there, very nice. Another peacock. Good job. Heck yes. That one's a little bit bigger even yet. All right. Rod's going to crazy. <laughs> Did it? There you go. All right. We got peacock number three on my rod. I wasn't paying attention. Just watch this truck, guys. I wasn't paying attention, and he was, and he got to reel it on in. Let's get another picture of it. All right. We're going to send this peacock on home. Your brother, or go find me, please. Very nice, cool man. You got your shiner out? Good. Oh, he being attacked? No, there you go. Your first peacock. Check that out. That's a good one, too. Nice. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Where'd you snap? You snapped all the way down there, huh? That's all right. Let's try to figure out what's going on here. Make sure you don't have a nick in your eye. I don't know why that snapped all the way down here. I don't see any nicks in the eye. Sometimes when there's a little nick in there, it, it breaks. But I don't see that. Here, put the line through. We're going to re-rig it. We'll get you another shiner. We'll get you another peacock. We got a fish on. Come on. Got a fish. <laughs> all right, we got another peacock on. See, I just let the line out there a little bit more. And it let that shiner dive down a little bit. We got ourselves a peacock. This is supposed to be Tyler's, but he's in the air condition in the car. <laughs> and there it is, another peacock bass. Pretty cool. See what happens when you take a break? This was on your rod. No, his, Tyler. <laughs> this was on your rod. Nice, isn't it? You want a picture of him? It was on your rod. What happened to his head? Where? Well, I don't know. Who knows? This little stuff. Here, hold him there by his lip, just like a large mouth. We'll get a picture of you. And there he is with his peacock bass. All right, we got gotcha. you. Nice. Want to go release him? Yeah. All right, let's go on over. It's all right. I let the line out a little bit more and bang. <laughs> yep. All right, we're going to go release this nice little peacock. <laughs> yeah, you can send them on home. Very cool. Catch and release. Nice, man. Thank you. There's a peacock for mom. On, on the way in very cool heck yes Woo! <laughs> there it is first peacock for mom 
Go grab from the bottom? You can grab him by his lips there, yeah. All wow. right. Aren't they beautiful? So beautiful. Amazon fish in Florida. We're going to let him go. Thanks, buddy. See ya. Ooh, there he goes. Reeling it in. Yeah. Very neat. Yeah, hey, that's how Good we job. do it. So we're at a new spot, same spots that I typically fish, and we're gonna see if we can find some of the bigger peacocks that live around here. A lot of times you could even see them swimming around, but the water did murk up a little bit since all that rain. But we'll see what happens. Come here, bud. All you're gonna have to do is close this bale and reel down, okay? There you go. Good fish. Seems like a decent one. Nice, man. Yeah, it's a good fish. Might be a, one of the bigger ones that are in here. Oh yeah, it's a real good fish, man. It's a large mouth, I think. Look like one at least. Get him out of that stuff. Is he in there? Um, it's all right. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, he went into that stuff. Oh, four pounds. Man. Yeah, he definitely went in there pretty good, huh? Here, bud, I got him out. Here. There you go. Keep on reeling on him. Keep tight to him. Nice. Really nice. Yeah, that's a nice one. There you go. Keep away from that. Start reeling. When they start doing it, just start reeling. So we don't go back into more stuff. We almost got him here. That's a nice large mouth, buddy. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. There you go. Let's get the weeds off of him. What do you think about that? A PV. Is it a PV? Yeah. Nice, man. Well, I'll let you get a picture, then I can send it to you. Yeah. Personal best, huh? Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Told you there's big fish in this canal. It's four pounds. Oh, well, see how thin he is? Yeah. So if you had more. A high three, maybe? Yeah, I would say I would say he's about four. If that stomach was full on her, she would be about five or six. Wow. What a large mouth Tyler got there. Personal best, huh? Yeah. Nice, that's man. Awesome. Way to go, Tyler. You want to release her? We'll put her right back in. Send, send her home so she can get bigger next time you come. There you go, man. Nice. Yeah. Good job. Give me some knuckles there. Heck yeah. Just had a really nice game warden come by. He didn't like exactly stop me, but he stopped to check my fishing license and to see if I paid the state entrance fee to this park. A lot of you guys already know where I'm at. So just make sure whenever you're at a Florida State Park, that you go online to reserveamerica.com, I believe it is. I'll make sure I leave the website in the description and make sure you pay the $2 entrance fee to get into the state park. It helps in the conservation of the state park. So make sure you guys do that. Let's get back to some fishing. Guys, we got something on, but it is not on. Let me angle my camera. This is not a fish. This is a unfortunate bycatch. I thought it was a soft shell turtle but it's just some sort of slider turtle. Oh, this is gonna be awesome to try to bring up. This braid's gonna kill my hands with this big heavy turtle on it. Oh boy. And here we go. Bringing the turtle on up. Oh, and we got him up. <laughs> there he, oh, calm down, buddy, calm down. And I'm gonna get my pliers for this thing because I do not want to take a bite from that. This turtle's hooked in the mouth here. I'm gonna try real hard to get this hook out of him and hope that he doesn't bite me in the meantime.
All right, Turtle got the hook out of him, and now he's running away from me, which is very understandable. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Stop. 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 All right, we got our turtle here, and we're just going to let him go. Man, he's got some sharp nails. Sorry for the release here, bud. And there he goes. See a turtle? And he's off. <laughs> okay. All right, let's try not to catch a turtle again. Now my hands are completely covered in mud and maybe salmonella. So I'm going to go in my truck and use my hand sanitizer. You definitely want to wash your hands or sanitize your hands every time you touch a reptile. So that's what we're going to do. We just got into the truck. We are going to head to Publix. I need to stop and do a little shopping for dinner tonight. And then we're going to hit up one more spot, but it's off of a main road here in Naples, Florida. And I've caught several peacocks and largemouth there, more largemouth than anything. There's these drain pipes that come out of this flooded prairie and the peacock bass and largemouth are head first into those drain pipes. We shall see if we can get over there and catch some more fish. We made it to our next spot. And as you can see, we're right alongside a pretty busy highway here in Naples, Florida. But there is canals alongside these highways and they're usually full of largemouth bass and peacock bass. So we're gonna toss the shiner in. I'm already seeing fish out there and see what we can get. Hey guys, we got our first fish here. What do we have? I think it's a largy. Yep, just a nice little largy. Really nice. All right, first fish alongside the road, largemouth bass. And my shiners are not doing good whatsoever. They're mostly all dead, unfortunately. Oop. Oop, and there goes the bass. All right, never mind. Mm -mm. There he is on the bank. Hopefully he could ride himself there so I don't have to go down there. Come on, dude. Get in the water. Oh, I don't want to have to go down this darn bank to get this bass back in, but I'm not going to let him die either. Man, this is a steep bank. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, and he just jetted himself further on land. Come on, bud. Don't do this to me. There he goes, all right, there he is. I just kind of launched the rod down there at him and he went back in. And I got crap all over my reel. That is perfect, some dirt and sand, just what I need. All right, we're going to try to find a live shiner in this bucket of dead ones and get another bait out there. Just using a dead shiner, just like a lure, kind of just twitching around. I got a peacock bass. Nice. All right. Maybe I could salvage what I have. Oh, he popped off too. Okay, I guess you're not going to see any of the fish that I catch. But I'm using the dead shiners, kind of like a lure. Look, they all cooked. Man, the water got hot when I went into Publix, apparently, unfortunately. And they cooked up on me. So I'm just kind of hooking them right through the bottom lip, out the top, out the top. There it is. I'm just tossing them in like so, letting them sink a second. And then I'm twitch, 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 trying to get something to bite here. Well, that didn't go as planned. All my shiners are dead. I got that one large mount, that one peacock on dead shiners, just using them kind of like twitching around like a lure. So with that being said, it did not really go as planned. The whole point of today was to take out those young subscribers and get them on some peacock and largemouth, which we did. So mission accomplished with that. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. And my friends, always stay fishing, and we'll see you on the next one.